Welcome to episode two of the NFC South. Um, the Atlanta South. Falcons technically came in second place. They were seven and nine. So Tampa Bay was seven and nine as well, but Falcons did technically have the second spot in that division. Um, they have they had about five starters in free agency, but we know a few moves that have happened. Um, they signed Gurley. That was kind of the big one. One year. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think it's any different than uh, Devonta De- De- Freeman. De- Freeman. Yeah. Freeman. If Freeman was let go with three years left right. on his contract, and he hasn't signed anywhere. Yeah, and he hasn't signed anywhere yet. Um, but yeah, they got Gurley kind of as Freeman's replacement. So. Hopefully it works out for them. I think they feel like they're both. In the, I mean, they're both kind of the same to me right now. I mean, mm-hmm. Gurley was one of the best in the league, and now it's... signed the deal. Right. I think he's not a three down back anymore, and that's. No. I mean, knees growing out, and I don't know who the backup is right now. I'm not sure either. Yeah, I can't remember. But a couple of the other moves: um, Vic Beasley, the defensive end, he was let go. Desmond Trufant, the defensive back. Was let go. He went to the Lions. So um, the other moves was uh, they got Dante Fowler on a three-year deal, and then yeah, the they... Hayden Hurst trade with your Ravens. So they now have Hayden Hurst. Yeah, thing for the Ram players, <laughs> Fowler and Gurley, the mm-hmm. Rams. Yeah. Yeah. Austin Hooper left for the Browns. Vic Beasley left for the Titans. Devondre Campbell went, went to the Cardinals, Cardinals. and True Final we said went to the Lions. They've mm-hmm. lost I mean they've lost quite a bit of people. I mean Dante Fowler is a good player. Hayden Hurst. You know. He's not mm-hmm. a bad tight end. But so, I mean they lost Hooper and they get Hurst. Is that kind of It's kind of a I to me it's a a, it's an even move. Yeah. I mean Hurst yeah. is still a little younger. So we'll see what he does. Then the big yeah. one, they took one Vikings. Oh, it wouldn't have been oh. uh, Laquan <laughs> Treadwell. <laughs> Yeah, was what, a huge what a, move, but but what was a wasted first round pick the Vikings made on that one. Yeah, um, cap space they're sitting at eleven point six million, so not a lot to work with there. No. Um, the team needs, as we said, you know, Beasley left, um, Trufant, Desmond Trufant left, so team needs. You're kind of looking at defensive back, defensive end, and O line. Yeah. At this point, with eleven million in cap, you're going to have to build through the draft. You might be able to get one. Their guy, their offensive line hasn't been very good, and if Gurley comes in there, uh, I think bad things will happen. Yeah, I yeah. I honestly think this team is probably going to be in last place next year. Yeah, I, I'm in this division. I, I mean, I could, it seems like they are going downhill a little bit. I mean, they still have Matt Ryan, or they're close. We just had them in a Super Bowl a few years ago. Yeah, and then they kind of just. But fell then they, yeah, they've went kind of downhill since then. Um, mm-hmm. I agree with you. Last year, the talent that they had, I expected more than seven and nine. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, they've kind of but, always been that way, though. I mean, but all the expectations and hype didn't live up. So I, I'm just going to say this year is going to be the same thing. I mean, seven look, and nine. Look at how many years you know Devontae Freeman was actually good. Then they had Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. Mm-hmm. And they still, I mean. So mediocre. I mean, my official guess is going to be you know eight and eight, seven and nine. I'm going to see them right around that same range. I, I agree. I had high expectations last year and they just didn't live up. So I'm just going to lower my expectations a little bit. I mean, they're kind of in the point now. Are they a couple pieces away, possibly? But then you're you're at the point where you got Ryan, Julio. They're getting older. Hmm. I mean, Hulu's one of the best in the league. They're either a couple of years away from doing something or a couple of years away from not doing anything. <laughs> I agree I mean, with you. if they don't draft well this year, you That's might have it. a couple of years left where you can maybe do something and then you're going to yeah. rebuild. I mean, we'll, we'll see. There's always, you know, there's always teams that surprise us, but yeah. I mean, for the got, general layout, Ryan, I don't think they're going to. You got Matt Ryan, you got Julio, you got Calvin Ridley. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Ridley. I mean that's not bad. They have a good core, but like you said, it's there are a couple pieces. A couple pieces away. That's the key word. Not one piece. A couple pieces. I think the big one too is losing Trufant. No. Now in that secondary. So. No. 
That's kind of where we're at with the Falcons. I mean, I don't. Yeah, not much. Until say. draft day, we don't really have much else to say yeah. about them. A lot of the signings and stuff have already happened. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be doing much else. I mean, the Fowler deal. I mm-hmm. mean, that's they they spent some money on that, and that's about it. Well, we'll see how they do. That's it for episode two, guys. Check out next episode.